My grandfather had been a councillor for Petworth Rural District Council and I thought the time had come when I would like to do something for my community and help with the community's future. Um, there was an election and I stood and got on as a representative for Petworth and uh, I've been there ever since. I became a county councillor in 2013 and the main reasons for becoming one is to serve the people of Hevesy, the town that I lived in uh, for the past 35 years. I've just come out of my residence surgery. I was talking with residents about a number of things, right from quite small issues around a tree on a particular residential street through to things like Brexit. The most rewarding thing about being a county councillor is actually being able to make a difference. So from small things, from people that have issues just on their doorstep, it's quite wide, county-wide things that you can actually change and make a difference for. We had somebody coming with a long-standing issue around, around highways relating to a planning application. We've seen them probably monthly for an update over the last six months or so. It's a really useful way to, to meet people and catch up on some of the issues in the village. Well, the public role that you need to uh, have is being a people's person to start with and to listen to the issues and understand the issues of uh, the, the general public uh, of your area. And that is the key to being successful as a county councillor. Being a county councillor working full time does have its challenges, um, but it's all about managing your time really. Um, I work uh, four or five different jobs. It isn't always easy because the most important thing in my life is my family. But I do have a lot of support at home. When I get back from council work, I'm very keen to sit in the garden. When I was first approached by someone to stand as a county councillor, I didn't think I'd be able to do it because I had three young children, including a two-year-old, um, and I said no. Um, but actually, after a while, I realised it might work around my family life, and it's proved that it, I've proved that it does, actually. So balancing all that plus being a county councillor uh, can be quite time-consuming, but as long as you plan your day and you plan your week, then it's worth it. I have most of my meetings in um, the daytime, which means I can fit them in around the school run at each end of the day, which is great. I get to spend that time with my, my family um, that I would anyway. Occasional evening meetings, um, but County Council has childcare allowances for people in, in my situation, so I can get the babysitting that I may need. It just seems to work pretty well with family life. We have the elections coming up soon for the County Council and it's vital we have as much diversity as many different people from different uh, walks of life uh, that stand to be elected uh, for the people of West Sussex. I lost my first election but that didn't stop me from being determined to win and I won the hearts of the people of uh, Hewitsy Town. So I encourage all walks of life to come along, uh, be a member and give it a go. It is rewarding.